I became aware of the Sun Ladies about a year and a half ago. I heard their story just by coincidence from a friend and then read an article about them and thought, I need to tell this story. I need to know these women. And the question was, how do you tell this story? It was happening right then in the news. It wasn't like it was going to be relevant for years to come, but the idea that I was excited about was the idea of empowered women. The idea that women facing the most extreme violence would use force against that violence, which we never really see. So put this incredible team together of Celine and Christian, who are the co-directors to create this virtual reality experience, which they can tell you about. Yeah, I think from my side, I've been covering war for about six years, seven years, and, and we just found that there was such a mass fatigue of you know, all the bloodshed and all of the terror that's ongoing. And the 2D that we have um, seen in the past is still very powerful and still very prescient and still very important. But you know, that's why I was excited when Maria uh, first told me about the project, because it's a new way to sort of bring you into the story through empathy. There's been a lot of stories and movies about women as victims, and very early on we decided not to do that, even though those women have been through the worst. Um, our perspective on it is that, yes, they were a victim, but that's not what's important about them. What's important is that they're fighting back. And we want to tell stories about women who are empowered and are taking back their pride and their honor and dig their dignity. A virtual reality camera is not something that people are used to, and it's, it was kind of a like big camera, and then when you start recording, you're recording 360, so you have to hide somewhere. And that's not exactly the type of camera that's easy to use in a war zone, and Christian can tell you more about that, he's used to it, but it was really, for me, what was important was to bring back home the shots I needed for the, the film, and it was just, very challenging at time to, this is what we've got. This is not a fiction movie where we can arrange everything around the camera. This is the real world. And we have to make our story fit into the real world instead of the other way around. Yeah, usually when we're shooting with VR and war zones, we're getting shot at because if you place it down and leave it, it looks like you're setting up a bomb. And so I think, you know, we had what I think is a perfect marriage of, um, you know, my team was able to bring their experience of being able to navigate those sort of situations while giving Celine the space she needed to really pull the best out of the story there.